Hello, welcome again to my channel. My name is Cynthia. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be making this. Um, I'll be cutting this beautiful gown you're seeing here. All right, so um, I'll be use, making use of this queen only because I want the gown, the pepper on this gown to look very well, like the video you saw at the beginning of this. Um, this cutting all right so i'll be using my crinoline all right and then this is the acara fabric i'll be using okay and then you will need uh, a peplon stay all right but if you don't have a peplon stay uh i am not using the peplon stay i'll be using the what the hard stay the hard paper stay all right but if you have the pep the peplon stay you can use all right so i'll be using this and I'll be wrapping it with what adding this cream and link to it. So we'll just dive into the class. Alright, so if today is your first time of coming to this channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Alright, if you're a new beginner, I want to say thank you for coming around. If you've not subscribed, please do by what subscribing and also hit the notification bell so that you always get notified whenever I upload my what's my videos. Alright, so we'll just go right into the class um i have my fabric folded into two here this is the front part and this is the back part it's on fold so you can see each of them is on fold so i have the front this is the back part on fold and then this is the front part which is also what on fold all right so i went ahead i added my two inches for my words zipper allowance okay so let's continue i'm going to mark this place as my starting point so that you not get confused mark it as your starting point okay so that it won't be on the way where you are so there becomes my starting point now from my shoulder to my bust point is 10 inches which is here so my under boss my under boss is 13 and then my waist is one two three and then i have extra one inch extra one inch for my allowance okay so let's mark the lines this is my bust point I'm actually using the princess that for this tutorial. I have a video on how to cut a princess that. So, in case I am too fast, I'll put the link so that you go and watch it. All right. You can actually use the um a shoulder that if you want. Depend on what you want. So I'm using um a princess that for this tutorial. so for the armhole i'll be using eight inches for my armhole today the armhole line i'll be putting it at eight inches i actually saw this um, video on tiktok it's trending on tiktok but a client came and asked me to recreate the same thing for her now her the boss i'm working with is 34 so the nipple to nipple of a bust 34, I'm going to use 3.5 inches. So 3.5 is what you are using. So I'll be putting 3.5 here. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. So I'll carry the line down. Okay. So I'm going to come to my on the bust here sorry of my waist part i'll take one inch here i'll take one inch here i do actually have a standard um measurement of the that i take while i'm making my princess that like i said i have a video on how to make this i'm going to put the, the, the link so you go and try like, understand it better all right so i'll take it to meet the under bust the one inch to meet the under bust then here too so it was the under bust. So now the distance from here is not much, but I'll just come down with half inch. 
just half inch from here so i'm going to connect we'll connect it so i'll connect the other part Okay, let me try to smooth in the line very well. Hope you can see what I did there. All right, now I'm going to take my shoulder measurement. The shoulder I'm working with is 15 divided by 2. Um, I have 7.5, which is here. So I'll take it down to meet my armhole line. So I'm going to add my armhole curve. All right. So the next is to put my neckline. Now, if you look at the video we have there, that it has a keyhole opening. But my client says she doesn't want that opening, that keyhole on the chest part, that she wants it covered. All right, I'll be cutting it on this tutorial because she says she doesn't want it. All right, now I'm going to be using, I will use a um, 3.5 for my neck deep and then for the back neck I will use three inches and again if you look at the back neckline of this dress it's very deep but my client says she doesn't want hers to be deep that she wants it to be moderate so I'm going to use five inches for my neckline for the back neckline we'll use five inches then for the front I will use three and a half Please don't forget that. All right, now for the um, for the width, I will use three and a half. Okay, yes, three and a half for the width. Remember, the back is deeper than the what the front. But my client said she doesn't want her to be very deep, so I went ahead to use um, just five inches for the back. Okay, and then for the this is for the. Then for the front neckline, I use three and a half. Don't worry, we know how to cut when we are cutting. Now I'm, I'm going to slope my shoulder with one inch. You slope with one inch. So I went ahead to slope. Now it's time, it's time to connect our princess that. The ample round of my client is 18 inches. So from this shoulder part, I'm going to mark 18 divided by 2. I have 9 inches, which is around here. Okay. Then you can add extra 1 inch for allowance. So half of 9 is 4.5, which is here. Here. So I'm going to connect it. So I have connected it, all right, so you can see. Now I'm going to come to this place. I'll take one inch downwards, all right, because I don't want that armhole area to be bulged, to be somehow. So I'll take one inch there, and then I'll reconnect back into what? Into the bust um, this way. So I've reconnected it back. So this is it. We've reconnected back. Okay, so I'm going to come out with one inch here. One inch. I'll use this to cut out the back. And then I'll use this to cut out towards the front. So the reason why we are doing this so that we'll not be short of fabric. So now I have a new what armhole line. Okay. We have a new armhole line. So around here, I'm going to take, um, around here, I'll take 0 0.5 and I'll connect it to the shoulder, all right? Still, I'm trying to shape that area. I'm, I'm trying to shape that area, okay? But make sure you don't take anything out of the shoulder. So I'll take it this way, all right? I'm just trying to shape the front part. So this is it for our princess that. Now I'm going to take my measurements. The bust I'm working with is 34 divided by 4. I have um I have 8.5. 
so i'm going to put my 8.5 here okay not from the zip allowance from the front part so i put it here and then i'll add three inches for my allowance then the other box i'm working with is 28 divided by four so i have um seven inches I'll be adding these two inches I collected and extra three inches for my allowance. So I am going to connect the line from my armhole line. Remember, we added one inch from the armhole. So I'll just connect with the highest measurement I have, which is the armhole and the what? The waist part. So I'll take it down. Now I'm going to cut both the back and the front. I'll show you how to do the cutting correctly. So remember, this is our front neckline. I'm going to cut this out. So with the help of my chalk, I'm going to indicate, remember the back is deeper than what the front. So let's connect the back neckline so that I will not make mistake. to connect to cut out the back neckline so the back is out of the way so now let's continue now to cut out your um, pattern the first um, nipple to nipple line you're going to cut it out you can see this first nipple to nipple line that's what we are cutting out the first nipple to nipple line we cut it out this out and then we'll cut out the shoulders though. all right so for the front part the back part i'll open it up remember um it's going to have a zip so open it up so once i'm done with the back part i'll set it aside now let's continue with this. Remember this line, okay? The, the half inch we took out. So I'm going to cut it out. Remember I said all oh, this is just to make sure that the front relaxes well on the on the armhole area. Now I'm going to cut out this um, uh, that. So it's out. So this is for the front, okay? This is for the front part. And then to cut out this, I'm going to set the back side aside and then I'll trace out the I'll remove that that and then here. So this is it. So I hope you can see it. So now to make sure that the back and the front are equal, this is what I do here. I'll bring them together to meet each other on this part. Okay? To meet each other on this part. And then I'll just cut it from here. Not really straight, slantedly. Alright? So now the back and the front are equal on this what part. This will help when you are um, joining your clothes at the end of your sewing to help to make sure that both the back and the front are what are equal. All right, so now this is for the upper side. We are going to do the skirt part. This is for the skirt part. If you recall, um, my, the other boss I worked with was 13 inches. And then we added three inches for waist, total of 17. So I'll be minusing that 17, all right? I'll be minusing the 17. This is exact 17. Now I, I'll be adding peplum to this if you remember okay and uh, now from my shoulder to the knee where i want my um peplum to start is around 36 inches so here is 36 inches i'll just add extra one inch for my allowance 
So from my shoulder to my hip, I'll be using 25 inches. All right, so let's make the line visible. So I also have my, uh, both my back and front together. This is the back, it's folded into two, and this is the front folded what into two. So here I'm going to mark the 36 inches, which is, which is around here. This is 36 inches, and then this is the one inch for my allowance. Okay, so now the waist I'm working with is 30, 31 divided by 4. I have seven, okay, let's use 7.75. So 31 divided by 4, we have 7.75, which is around here. So I'll put my, I'll put the waist and then I'll add um, 3 inches for my allowance. And then for um, for the back side, for my hip, the hip is 41 divided by 4, we have 10.25 plus 3 inches for allowance. So whatever I have here, I'm going to my nose, subtract 2 inches and put it here. So we had, um, the hip was 41 divided by 4, we have 10.25 minus 2 inches, so we have 8.25. It does depend on how pencil you want this area to be. So we're using 8.25. You can send to minus one inch if you like. So I'll be minusing two from it. So I'm going to connect all this line. So I'm going to cut, to cut it out now. Alright, so this is the skirt part. I went ahead to, uh, to cut the skirt. This for the front and then this for the, the back. So now we are going to do the peplum. Remember the peplum is three tiers. Um, Alright, so um, this is the materials I'm using for the word the peplum. I have the first one, then this is the word the second one, and this is the third one. Now if you check um, um it's three step of um peplum we have there. The gown length I'm working with is 48. Alright if you minus if you minus 48 from what we took for our um if you minus 48, it's my best. If you minus 48 from 36, you know to for our upper bodies, both the um the upper side and the skirt part is 36. So I'm going to place it. If you minus it 36 from 30 from 48, you should have around 12 inches. Alright, so now um my circumference is going to be the nail divided by eight since this um fabric is folded into what into eight so i'll be dividing it by what by eight i'm using a freehand method all right to get my peplum now to get this peplum i'm going to use my nail um add extra the nail i'm working with is a uh, 36 okay so i'll add extra is 30 37 so i'm adding extra um, four inches to be giving us 41 so now 41 divided by 8 i have around 5.125 all right so we're using 5.125 so i'm going to place it here and then we'll mark okay. sorry i didn't know my um camera was not recording 
I was almost done with cutting when I discovered that it was not recording, but I'm through with cutting the peplum. I'll put I'll put the link below on how to do this, all right? And so what I did was I gave three three inches, like the first tier is six inches, the second one is nine, and the last one is twelve. All right, so please don't get confused. But I'll show you how to I'll say I'll put the link of a video on how to cut this how to cut a peplum, all right? So in case you are wondering how I did the cutting. Sorry, very, very sorry. I didn't know it wasn't video ring. Alright, so this is it. I have the first one, the second, and the third. So I'll go ahead now and put my, my strong stay on it. And then also I'll cut out the sleeve. The sleeve length I'm working with is 15 inches. 15. And then I'm going to add extra 2 inches for folding of this sleeve. So I have a total of 17. So the calf size I'm working with, the calf size I'm working with, I'll be using 3.5 for my calf size. Alright, so I be adding my armhole round. My armhole circumference, I'm putting it here. That's on my cap size. And the cap size I'm working with, my armhole round is 18 inches. If you are, if you are confused on this cap size thing, I'll be putting a link on how to cut the sleeve. All right, let's go and watch it, okay? I have a video on how to, and there I explain very well. So my, the armhole round is 18 divided by two, I have nine, plus one inch um, here. So half of nine is 4.5, which is here. So from there, I'm going to draw something that looks like a muzzle and then I'll connect it into what my armhole. Now the sleeve round I'm working with is 9 inches divided by 2. I should have 4.5 plus 1. So I'm going to connect from here to here. Now I'm supposed to connect it somewhere here. Remember we took extra 2 inches. I said it's for folding which is supposed to be here. So the reason why I'm doing that is, I'll show you why I'm doing it. So now I'll connect it to the two inches, which is here. So from that two inches, you should go this way. So that if you fold, it will correspond with here. So I'll cut it and show you what I mean by why I did what I did here. Okay. So let's cut. Now this is why we did that. By the time I fold that two inches, can you see it's sitting very well? I think when I when I took this off, maybe I cut like this. By the time you fold, you should have something like this, and you don't want that. So that's why I extended with just one inch. All right, and then we have it sitting what correctly. So, um. I will join the cuts in here on this video. On my next video, I will be showing you how to put, how to sew all this. The video is very long, so I'm showing you how to sew it. All right. All right. We've come to the end of this tutorial. If this tutorial you find it very helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you are a new beginner here, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you always get notified when we upload. Bye.